Hi guys, Joe Kellum. I'm going to show you a couple of tips on preserving and uh, keeping your tracks so you have uh, some source to identify them later and to uh, show what you've got in your area. First thing you want to do once you locate a track um, is photograph it. And there's a proper way to do that, especially for identification at later purposes or later time uh, for identification purposes. What you need is some sort of a standardized scale. Um, a ruler with either metric or inch pattern on it's going to work fine. Uh, we have a coyote track here and you want to put that at a right angle to the track in the same vicinity. It doesn't matter if it's across the bottom or across the, uh, the horizontal line of the track. Either way is fine. When you go to actually photograph it, your camera should be at a 90 degree angle straight above. You don't want an angle here. You don't want an angle here because it's going to throw off the measurement. So you want to go 90 degrees straight above the track, fill as much of the frame as you can, and uh, take the track picture. What you're going to have there, if you use the sun properly, is a good shadow in the track. Don't use your flash because it's going to wash everything out, it'll wash out the detail. Once that's done, take your scale, put it away, camera, put it away. The next thing we're going to do is what's called a plaster cast. Uh, as, a, as a mixed ratio for that, plaster, Paris, Hydrocal, either of those are going to work real good for this. The first thing you're going to have to have is some kind of a form to put around there. You can use wood, mud, something to create a dam around the track so when you pour this, uh, this mixture it doesn't flow all over. This is just some rubber, you can use tubing, whatever you need. And uh, what we have again is a coyote track. Place the form around there, push it down into uh, the dirt, seal that up the best you can. Once that's ready, the way I like to carry a mix is in a heavy duty Ziploc bag or some kind of a, a, a Visqueen bag that's not going to burst in your, your pouch. The uh, ratio for this is two parts of powder to one part of water. A couple ways you can mix it is just uh, grab some kind of a plastic cup. You can mix it right in there. That works okay. Or you can, uh, once you've got proper portions, you can mix it right in the bag, right in the field. I carry a couple of tongue depressors in there if I'm mixing in a, in a jug. If not, seal this up real good. You want the consistency of pancake batter when you get this ready to pour. You got a good flow there. Make sure there's no lumps in there because it's going to mess with your track. Alright, now we're going to need to see some detail here on this. Alright, again, the form's in place here. You got your, uh, your mix. Pretty good consistency there. You want it to run. If you look down inside your track, whatever you're trying to capture, you want to fill those bottom voids first real carefully and slowly work your way up. There's no uh, hurry to this. Take your time and make a good, uh, good track cast that's going to last. I take a stick or a tongue depressor, a spoon or something, and you want to try to pour over that into the areas first without trying to splatter. This is, is mud. So it's, uh, it's going to hold the track, but sand will push out, so just slowly fill that void up, gathering as much detail as you can. Once you've got the main void filled, stop for a second, move that up and down, that's going to bring all those air bubbles to the top and fill all the void. Then just continue. You want at least a half inch of thickness on top of there to make this cast something that's going to hold up. Alright, once you've got all that squeezed out of there, make sure that uh, the dam's holding up. If you got anything leaking out, not a big deal. Just take some mud and plug it up. Now you want to let this set and, uh, and harden. I like to go at least overnight with that. One thing that you can do to uh, remember where this was, you can put dates in here. Once that hardens a little bit, 
locations, your initials, whatever you want to do to uh, to help document. All right, guys. Next day, we've had a chance to let this cast dry overnight. I'm going to show you how to properly take that out of the ground and then uh, make it usable and preserve it. This uh, ring, whatever you're using, whether it's a barrier or rubber, plastic, bottom of a two-liter Coke bottle, you just want to take and break that free while the track is still in the ground and the cast is still there. You can see that's pulling apart. If it gets stuck somewhere, don't worry about it. Cut your tape and pop it off. Now that's where you got to be a little careful. You want to push down on the cast and pull up on the outer rim. And that should, in theory, pop off of there. Now you, you can, uh, when you do this, you can feel it's still real cold and real damp. That means it's still pretty soft. So what I like to do is kind of dig around there a little bit and just free up any of those edges. Get a good grip all the way around this because if not, it may crack. And just try to work one edge up, work the other edge up. Go all the way around that and then try to lift that straight out of the ground. It will break, so you just got to be a little careful. All right, you can see I've got good detail. The track is actually still there. Had just a couple little nail marks break off. Not a big deal. Now, I don't want to do anything to this as far as disrupting it right now because that's still real soft and it'll chip apart. So take and lay this, this side up, track side up, not directly in the sun, but in an area where it's going to get uh, some wind blowing past it. Let it dry for another day at least. When it stops feeling cold and clammy, then you can real lightly try to flake this stuff off of here. Um, you can put it under a little bit of water. You don't want to real high pressure because it will disrupt some of the uh, detail. Um, and then just take a real soft toothbrush and lightly uh, brush that away and that will preserve your track. Uh, from there again, you want to make sure and put something on the back to label where it was, what kind of track you think it is, and then uh, you can uh, take and document that um, for later. Use it in class or wherever you want to. So, hope this helped you guys out. Joe Kellum with Pathfinder School. Thanks for your support and we'll see you next time.